Transfer is a common function of blockchain wallets. We need to send assets by transfer. In this video, we will talk about transfer. The three basic elements of transfer are gas fee, transfer network, and address. Gas fee is a commonly known as transfer fee as an incentive for miners. When you transfer on the blockchain, the miner needs to package your transaction information and synchronize it on the blockchain to complete the transfer. In this process, you need to pay for the network, which is the gas fee. Every public chain uses its native token as the gas fee. For example, ETH is used as gas fee on Ethereum. BNB is used as gas fee on Binance Smart Chain. Matic is used as gas fee on Polygon Chain. Avax is used as gas fee on Avalanche Chain. Transfer network refers to the public chain corresponding to the transfer token. The assets on ETH can only be transferred between Ethereum addresses. The assets on BSC can only be transferred between Binance Smart Chain. The assets on Polygon can only be sent on Polygon Chain. The assets on Avalanche can only be sent on Avalanche Chain, etc. Address can be distinguished into wallet address and contract address. The wallet address is the address created by the user and controlled by the private key. The contract address is controlled by the code of the smart contract and it can only be executed according to the pre-written code of the smart contract after it is deployed. It cannot initiate transactions actively. And the smart contract code is immutable. The transfer is a very common operation in the process of using a wallet like Token Pocket. But there are still a lot of problems for some new users who know crypto for the first time. Why did the transaction fail? Why can't I receive assets? Now, we will answer these questions for you. The common reasons for the failed transaction are the insufficient gas fee and the delay of network nodes. Reason 1. The gas fee balance is insufficient to cover the cost of a transfer. If the gas fee is insufficient, please check your wallet's address balance. Take the BSC address as an example. If a transfer is required on Binance Smart Chain and the BNB balance is zero or less than the minimum gas fee required for the transfer, it will display insufficient gas fee. Reason 2. The contract is not standardized, so the wallet cannot calculate the gas limit required by the transfer. In this case, you need to customize the gas fee by raising the gas limit. You can query the value of the last successful gas limit from your browser and customize the gas limit. Reason 3. Delay of the network nodes. If your current node is delayed, you can switch to a better node through the path. Me, Settings, Note Setting. The common reasons for not receiving assets are transferred to the wrong receiving address and have not transferred on the same public chain. Reason 1. Transfer to the wrong receiving address. If you transfer to the wrong address, there is no way to retrieve your assets unless you know the person corresponding to the receiving address and ask him to transfer back. By the way, if you transfer to the contract address, you can't retrieve the assets either. The contract address is controlled by the code of the smart contract. There is no private key. If you transfer to the contract address, there is likely no way to retrieve your tokens. Reason 2. Have not transferred on the same public chain. Since the tokens can only be transferred on the same public chain, but can't be transferred between different public chains. For example, you can't transfer from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain directly, or you won't receive the corresponding assets if you do. But based on these public chains are EVM compatible chains, their private keys can be imported into each other. So you just need to import your BSC private key to Ethereum. 
Then you can retrieve your assets on Ethereum. Therefore, you need to check the following points before transferring. Firstly, the receiving address is correct. Secondly, transfer on the same public chain. Lastly, you have sufficient balance to pay the gas fee. Since Token Pocket is a self-custodial wallet, the user's assets are only controlled by themselves. Thus, all operations need to be taken by users themselves. Token Pocket cannot help users to complete any operations. Please kindly know that protecting your assets is your responsibility, and you need to strengthen your wallet security awareness.